Now, one thing that has the potential to be very positive or very negative is, of course, breaking coming to the Olympics, meaning a b-boy and a b-girl competition at the very highest level. Now, I'll be honest, speaking as a guy who went to the final Olympics qualifier, I gotta say, it wasn't all that great. Uh, a lot of the atmosphere was missing, the music wasn't the best because they had to clear all the samples. It was very much a work in progress. But we've got four years, so hopefully by that point we can sort out all of these problems. The second thing was that the event attracted a lot of uh, people who didn't really understand the moves and really understand what was going on. And it led to this very weird atmosphere where people were blowing up for things that they shouldn't and completely dismissing stuff that was absolutely insane. So it was a very, very weird vibe. But that's not necessarily such a bad thing because one thing that breaking does need is to bring in people who otherwise wouldn't be exposed to the scene. We need to get rid of that image of breaking being this old thing that's out of fashion. Now, one of the big problems with breaking being announced for the Olympics was it brought out all the old stereotypes. And that's something that as a community we need to move beyond and think of solutions for. So obviously every newspaper and magazine wrote an article about breakdance and showed images of Boogaloo Shrimp or so one of these 80s guys. And so this is both a good and a bad thing because on the one hand it allows hopefully us to take control of the message. But on the other hand, we have to be careful because the message is being taken out of our hands. So, for example, Guardian wrote a thing and they interviewed a squash player about breaking in The Guardian by a guy who had no knowledge of dance whatsoever. And the squash player basically went off on this big rant about how whack b-boying was and he had no right to be at the Olympics and stuff like that. Now, that's very dangerous because The Guardian's a big newspaper and it just mostly appeals to the older demographic in the UK and suddenly all of these uh, 30 to 50 year olds are reading about how our dance has played out, how it's nothing and this is just a terrible terrible example and I could pretty much close my eyes and choose any magazine or any publication just for stupid angles, ridiculous stories, things that made no sense, um, taking away the, our power as dancers and so what we have to do is teach people <laughs> and we have to stick up for our dance because previously when people have been like ah oh, breaking's whack it's played out it's some 80s stuff I've just been like yeah whatever but from now on I think I'm gonna actually have to be like no 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 like what you think of as breaking is is that it's played out it's useless no one no one's into that anymore but we have a whole new scene we have a whole new look um we we're more musical now, we're more creative, there's massive levels to it. And I think that's what we have to uh, communicate to people now. Now, one other thing that I have to say about the Olympics is a lot of b-boys and b-girls are assuming that once we get to the Olympics, that's it. They're going to be like Jay-Z, rolling in millions, drinking out of a cup covered in diamonds and stuff like this. But no, that's not the case. Um, Unfortunately, at the time being, breaking is going to be a minor sport at the Olympics. I don't want it that way. I hope breaking gets big and I, I want to see Shige Kicks uh, pimping it out, riding around in the low rider <laughs> with the fat beats. If that day comes through, I'm, 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 I'm amazingly happy when you know, Shige Kicks just throwing dollars in the, ha in the air. But to be honest, it's probably not going to happen. Um, a lot of sports at the Olympic level, and especially the minor sports, remain very, very amateur. Like, case in point, a lot of the guys you see on the Olympics, they are part-time jobs. Google it and probably your favorite Olympic athlete, that guy who you thought was amazing in fencing or karate or whatever. The Olympic is, has been a good source of some money, but it's not like this amazing thing that changed their lives. And so, on the one hand, hopefully it will lead to that and we'll see a lot more legitimacy to the real dancers. But on the other hand, dancers need to be well, well aware of what it is that they're actually going to get out of the Olympics. And for most of them, it will be um, a chance to be seen and a chance for our dance to be better understood by people in the, outside the community. What do you think about the Olympics? Do you agree with me that dancers have maybe got their hopes up a little bit too high as to what opportunities the Olympics will bring? Or can you see that basically any, any attention on our dance, even negative attention like The Guardian, um, is a good thing for our dance.